Today's episode of Dr. Football Helmet's Medical Vlog is brought to you by Mission Impossible Fallout in theaters now. Seriously, we got them to sponsor the show. Uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, enjoy the show. Football helmet. Welcome to Dr. Football Helmet's medical vlog. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. I know I am. It's beautiful outside. And of course, I'm spending my time here in my office doing work because my work is never done. But still, it's lovely to look out the window every now and then and be reminded it's a beautiful world. I love nature. Nature is beautiful. Yes. So. Um, anyway, I'm not talking about nature today, I'm talking about the world of modern medicine. Specifically today, I'm here to debunk a myth. And a myth that many people have probably heard and believed over the years, and I'm here to set them straight. I hope you're ready, because this episode is bound to rock your world. <sighs> Sit back, it's going to be a bumpy one. So, the myth I'm here to debunk is a myth that um, I, I know a lot of people have just have, have regretted that they believed. The myth is laughter is the best medicine. Now, I say that and you're probably thinking, yeah, obviously laughter is the best medicine. Everyone knows that. That's a, that's a well-known fact. Here's the thing. It's completely false. The truth is, laughter is not the best medicine. You know what is the best medicine? And I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking, medicine. Oh, aren't you a joker? Trying to make, make, uh, make yourself look clever by saying, oh, the best medicine isn't laughter, it's actually medicine. I'm not laughing. Because laughter is not medicine, and neither is medicine. All modern medicine is a lie. It's a filthy, dirty lie. And the sooner you realize that, the better. And laughter, while it's fun, is not the best of that medicine. The best medicine is no medicine at all. Gonna pause there to let it let it sink in for you. No medicine at all. In truth, the only thing you need, the only thing you need to have all the effects that you're looking to get out of medicine. <sighs> do you even have to say it? Yes, I do. It's a football helmet. A football helmet does so much more for you than laughter does. Laughter just makes you feel good, makes your stomach kind of fun, feel fluffy, and you go, oh, and your tears are coming out of your eyes, and you're feeling, feeling happy. That's great. But let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a hypothetical question. Okay, so let's think about it this way. So you're sitting with your friends, like a diner or something, and you're all having a good old time, and your friend, Jerry, tells a joke. He says... Something like, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, so where do soldiers keep their armies? And, and you go, I don't know where they keep their armies, Jerry. And Jerry says, up oh, there, sleepies! And you go, oh! And right then, you just you get that stitch in your leg, and you're, feeling, you're like, oh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe! And you're laughing, and you're going, oh, 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 oh. And you're just having, it's just a great experience. And I, I, and I would never want to take that away from you, but here's the thing. Right as you're laughing at Jerry's joke, a cinder block comes, falls down, hits your head, and you're dead. I should have mentioned that in the scenario, you are not wearing a football helmet! Neither is Jerry. And then Jerry suddenly he, he sees the cinder block hit your head, and he, he, he's, he's panicking, and all of a sudden he feels tightness in his chest, and he, he has a heart attack and dies. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question now, and it may sound callous to you, but it's something I need to ask, and it's 
it's important that you answer it. I want you to answer this question wherever you're sitting, wherever you're watching this video. The question is, who is laughing now? Go on, answer it. Did you answer it? If not, I'll answer it for you. No one is laughing now. It's a sad, sorrowful picture. And you know what could have prevented it? You and I both know what could have prevented it. If you and Jerry had been wearing football helmets while you told your joke, well, Jerry told the joke. It's a somber, somber, dark illustration I just had to give, and it took me to a dark place, and I didn't like it. But, you know, life's not all laughter. Well, it could be all laughter, but it's not currently in the sad, sorrowful state we live in, in this country, where maybe one to two percent, I haven't looked at the statistics lately, but one to two percent of the American population, probably not even two percent, probably not even one percent, wears a football helmet every waking moment of their lives. And you know what the mortality rate is in this country? One hundred percent. Everybody dies, including you and Jerry in that hypothetical situation. That's not funny. That is not funny. But let me give you a glimpse of the other side of life. The life that you too could have. So, I could tell a little personal anecdote. Uh, so, I was at the Grand Canyon one day. Uh, the Me and some buddies of mine went up there to gaze at the beauty of nature. And uh, we were looking out at the, over the rim, over, you know, and it was a beautiful, beautiful day. And, you know, my buddies, of course, also wear football helmets. Um, it's me and Rick and Jim. Hey, guys, give me a shout-out. <laughs> I, I know that they'll probably appreciate that. I won't give their last names just in case they don't want me to say their last names. But well, the three of us were just enjoying a, a lovely, carefree day at the Grand Canyon. And we're standing up there taking pictures. It's great. And then my friend... Uh, Rick, he uh, tells a joke, and uh, it's a it's a it's a hilarious joke. It is one of the funniest jokes I've ever heard. Uh, I'll tell it to you now. Um, so, a moth walks into a podiatrist's office, and the podiatrist is there, and and he says, "What can I do for you, moth?" And the moth says, uh, "Oh, doc, my life is a living hell. I just I can't." And nothing is going right. I hate myself. I look in the mirror and I can't stand what I see. I go to work and my boss works me like a dog. And he makes me do all this paperwork and it's... It's grueling, Doc. And I just can't handle it. And and uh, my wife, I come home to her and she, she won't even speak to me. And my son, I can't even look at him in the eye anymore because... I look into his eyes and I see the same cowardice I see in my own eyes when I look in the mirror. And my daughter, she, she can't stand the sight of me. She's embarrassed by me, Doc. She, every time we have a family get together, she's always just on her phone. She won't talk to me. She wants to be anywhere but with her old man. Now look at the, the cold pistol that sits in the draw up my nightstand and sometimes I'll think I just want to end it all and I just I, I can't take it anymore doc and the podiatrist says to him he says oh moth that's that's terrible it sounds like it, you, you 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 need help but I can't I, uh, you need to see a psychiatrist but I'm a podiatrist w w why did you come in here and the moth says because the light was on I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, it's too funny, I just, I busted a gut, and I just lost it, I just laughing, 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 and then all of a sudden, I had my back to the canyon, and what do you think happened? I fell in. 
Woo! I think I fell about 20 feet down onto a ledge. And you know what injuries I sustained from that fall? Several. Zilch? Nada. Nothing. No broken, nothing to scrape on me because I was wearing a football helmet. And it was marvelous. And my buddies pulled, I, uh, I climbed up out of that canyon, and my buddies were all concerned about me, and I said, guys, I am totally fine. And they were astonished, and I said, why are you astonished? You know we're all wearing football helmets. And they said, they, they, they had to admit that they didn't fully believe in the power of the almighty helmet, and, and on that day, I think they were converted into full-fledged believers in football helmets. I tell that story just to say that the world of football helmets is a world of carefree laughter. You can laugh all you want. It's not medicine, but it feels good. The real health benefits are stored in here. It was a great day at the Grand Canyon. It was a beautiful day. So uh, that's um, that's all I have for you for this episode. I hope uh, it convinces the, my story has convinced you of the power of a football helmet. Um, I will uh, talk to you uh, later with another great video, and I hope you will subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more because I have more videos to share with you. Goodbye.